Welcome, my name is Spencer Emerson, uh, also known as How I Met Your Bourbon. Uh, tonight, what I am doing is I am aging Buffalo Trace uh, in these beautiful uh, Buffalo Trace 5 liter uh, drums um, purchased by uh, myself uh, at buffalotrace.com. Their shop has pretty great stuff. Uh, and I want to try aging um, some bourbon or double aging it. So what I'm gonna be doing is I have five liters of Buffalo Trace. Since it's a smaller barrel, uh, it's not gonna take years to age. It's actually only gonna take months. Um, one to three months is what it says. Uh, when you get the, the pack, uh, it comes with some pretty cool stuff. Uh, first you got the barrel, has the Buffalo Trace logo on it. Uh, comes with a stand. It also comes uh, with your other little accessories. Um, comes with your spout and then your bunk hole stop um, from there. And also for beginners has uh, some frequently asked questions or, hey, you know, what what's happening with my new barrel? Um, so it, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, you don't just get your pack and start it overnight. Uh, you do have a process to it, so it, it makes it pretty fun. Um, first is uh, you got to fill it with water. Uh, it recommends that you fill it with warm water uh, so that way the barrel itself can seal because um, when it's made, you know, there's holes, there's air coming in uh, and you need to be able to make check um, that you're not losing your liquid. Uh, I've seen videos before in which uh, people were losing their liquid and they started with uh, three liters of a substance and then it ended with less than 500 milliliters of that same uh of that same juice and it it's disappointing so i don't want to ruin uh or waste good buffalo trace but i think it'd be pretty interesting to do a double oak version so um i'm going to empty this this has been sitting for about seven days uh got a little delayed uh because of land united but gonna try it out let's see how it goes All right, now that I have emptied out, uh, empty out my barrel, made sure all the water, um, again, you just need warm tap water. Um, when it comes to cutting uh, down whiskey, yes, I know you use mineral water, um, but when it comes to just filling it up and making sure you're sealing your barrel, they said that warm tap water works and you don't have to waste money on warming up uh, mineral water. So right now I got my little funnel uh, got my bottles, gonna start opening them up and pouring them in. Um, I think pouring in will be long and boring, so I will try and speed this up if I learn how to do that in Movie Maker or whatever it does. So I'm not rushing myself in this situation and hopefully I can use any sort of movie magic to make this work out well. <laughs> All right, uh, what's that? Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that was that was all five liters. Uh, if you look inside, wow, well, no why. If I look inside, uh, I can see up top. Uh, we want it as full as possible, um, so that way it can hit all the surface area. Um, also, so that way the angel share, which is also different than the Spencer share. The Spencer share is all the whiskey that he pours on the side of the barrel because he doesn't get a big enough funnel. Um, Cause yeah, that's just how it works. So I will put in the bunghole, um, we'll fill it up. I'm gonna keep this probably in the basement. Um, I think it has uh, a flux and I might move it around just see where it's at. Um, 
we'll check it month by month and I'll do some videos just to see uh, what changes. Again, made a glass right here. Um, I like it. Again, it is that, that light color. Um, I really don't know that much about whiskey. I just hear what other people say and copy them, um, which is exactly what everyone else does. So, but what I do like about whiskey and something that I do enjoy is the community side of it. So that's why I'm making this video um, because when I was looking up more videos on how to do this, there wasn't a lot. Um, and I wanted an opportunity to share uh, some knowledge and experience, um, but then also just be able to look back at the history and say, hey, um, what happened the last time that I poured five liters of Buffalo Trace in a barrel uh, to see how it goes? Again, it's already charred, it comes in, it's great. Bought it from Buffalo Trace. It's bigger than your little mixer. Um, this one isn't even really much for aging. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's just a plastic bag in it made from China and it's for, you know, mixing stuff in it, like honey or whatever you want in it. Um, I love the taste of Buffalo Trace already. Um, it's sweet, it's easy to drink. Um, I really like just putting it in an old fashioned, I think it's one of the easiest things um, or one of the best whiskeys, bourbons to put in an old fashioned because it really enhances flavor, especially when you put in smoke. Um, but yeah, let's see what goes. Um, I think today's the first, it could be the second. It's been a long week and it's only Tuesday. Um, but thank you for watching this video. If I do actually put it up, um, if you have any questions, uh, like, uh, subscribe, um, do whatever they always say. Uh, it's probably just be a video that I watch myself. So have a good night, bye.